Five, four, three, two, one. Oop, forgot to do beep beep. Let's try that again. Five, four, three, two, one. Beep. Overdrive limiter. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> Is our reverb? Is a ring shifter? Stereo delay. Got a bit crusher. A pitch shifter. Another pitch shifter. A vocal transformer. Yes. <laughs> My God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Fowler. And from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you trust. Trust. My God. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, make goosebumps. Today I thought I'd do another type of industrial metal tutorial. Yes, you could tell I, I really like this genre. This one here is an older piece. It originally started a while back ago. And I need to just basically just get it in and sync. And what I mean by that is it's really disorganized. You listen to some of your old stuff and you're like, what the heck was I thinking? <laughs> Anyhow, give you an idea of what's going on here about this industrial metal piece that I'm working on. The name of the song is called My Fortress. It's basically, I thought it would be really cool to take Psalms 91, He That Dwells in the Secret Place. And I thought it'd be really cool to say it in a way that was more, you know, kind of like, Oh, post-apocalyptic, you know, and I, I'll give you a little sample of it. You know, this is what it sounds like right now. Here we go. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. My God, in him will I trust, trust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, ma it makes me giggle. <laughs> yeah, because it's so epic uh, in in a, in a dark way. <laughs> All right. So what I have going on here with the these vocals? Here we go. The first one. Let's just take everything off and maybe give you an idea of what's going on. Let's just undo this, undo that, undo that, undo that, undo that. That, that, and that. Now, let's try it. Here we go. This is Ma in the Raw. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. Okay. So that's in the Raw. And how it was recorded was just basically, it was recorded with two microphones. Pencil microphones that you get like you use put on like some drum heads or something like that Here's a picture of a uh, of the microphones I used but what they are is they're Samson co2 pencil condenser microphones and I had them in a, a Special mic stand where you know both of them were just side by side and that's what I used to record the voice And I just did it in a regular office really I didn't have a special booth or anything to do it uh, a lot of times when I just do vocal recordings. I'm not really concerned about the atmosphere or anything. As long as no one's yelling and stuff, I can get a decent recording. But that's actually a pretty good deal for those kind. I just broke up the audio in, in pieces because what I was trying to do is you can see where the, the tip of the wave is. I'm trying to fit each part of the, the start of, you know, certain voices to start on the, on the grid line so that way it kind of syncs up with the rhythm. And that's what I'm doing there. I'm creating some, you know, repeats 
not so much a delay, but just kind of like I'm just stressing certain words. Like, you know, like right here, it just kind of goes, I may have copied a couple times, you know, see what this sounds like. I can't remember. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. Yeah, so that's just like, you know, just a natural echo sounding kind of thing. You know, once I put all the effects on it, it sounds pretty cool. So you can see where I'm just kind of going on and on and on. The next thing I did, a pitch corrector. Key of the, the song is in, is D minor. So what I wanted to do was, even though my voice is just voice, I wanted to make sure that my voice was, you know, kind of in tune with the song, you know, because I'm not the best singer, you know, I'm, I was in choir once, but you know, that's the guy in the background that looks like a total weirdo. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I set the uh, root minor scale. And so what this does is we'll go ahead and enable it, you know, and just watch it as it goes. And you can see that let's just hit play. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. You could see that there was there were some parts in there where it was just kind of doing some correction a little bit. And, you know, this, this thing actually does a pretty decent job. You know, it's not like right on, and it's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's all right. D minor scale, and then I... You know, set it for low because I got a low voice, and that's about it. Have a compressor on here. It's just a, a regular Rap Vox compressor. I think this compressor came with the. I'm gonna adjust this guy. I'm definitely don't like the factory presets in Logic. So my new rule now is, is I don't use factory presets anymore. But that's why I'm kind of going through this thing. All right, so that's the compressor, and if we use the compressor, we'll just go ahead and just turn it on now and just play it. Just see what it sounds like. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. Okay, so it, it definitely it amps it up and presses it. It's just yeah, you can see how it definitely gets in there. So, and then it has auto gain on there. So I don't really like to use auto gain anymore because I feel like it just it seems like to me it just puts too much gain take it off and then if I need it again I'll lift it up right here and maybe just a little bit and then what we can do here is our ratio set to eight that's kind of strange that's a lot of man that's compressed to hell <laughs> we don't want that not not for our scripture verse <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's just play with it a little bit and see what we can get out of it he that dwells in uh, that's better Say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I okay, so I think I got it dialed in pretty good. I, I like it with a short attack and a long release, so that way, so once the voice hits, you know, you're getting an immediate compression, and the release, it doesn't lose that compression after the voice is over, so it just kind of goes right into it. What the knee does is it's an algorithm that's basically, it eases the attack in. So it's kind of like, I sometimes think it's just a placebo knob, really. Because <laughs> I could have it this way and I could have it that way and I still notice this one. But you, it's, you got straight in, but if you do up here, it just makes a nice little curve for you. So on the uh, attack, this is what I have here. I just wanted it just around, you know, two and then and the knee. Yeah, we could keep the knee up because the, the knee is, is kind of like it just softens the slope. Let's see what it sounds like now. Also, I did not really care for the Platinum Digital. It's kind of dull sounding. And I just don't like the way it sounds. So we're going to go with something a little bit different. The vintage VCA. Let's try that. Let's see what that sounds like. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. I, I'm liking the, the vintage VCA. That sounds pretty good. So let's just, just trick it out real, real quick and, and see which one sounds good. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I that one sounded pretty good too. 
Let's go over this one here. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but each compressor has just a slight tone difference. Like certain compressors are warmer, certain compressors are a little duller, certain compressors are a little bit higher in frequency. This one sounded just a, almost as dull as the Platinum Digital, but with a little bit more warmth. So I kind of like this one. But the Vintage FET was pretty good too. And this one's pretty cool too. Let's just look at this one real quick. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All right, that one was just a tad too harsh. I'm going to go over to the Vintage FET. And I really like this one or this one. So let's... Oh, we haven't tried this one yet. Let's, let's try this one. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. And, and not liking this one because it seems like it the, the response on this one is just a little tad too slow for my voice. And I, I remember reading that. It was really good for like bass and drum sounds, but not so good on vocals. This one or this one that we like. So let's go over here. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I like this one better for some reason. They're about almost dead on the same, but this one just seemed like it had a little bit higher seemed a little nicer to me so we're going to use this one i kind of spazzed out about the compressor here but then again we're going to do this right dial it in some more let's get some volume in it take this down a little bit boost the, the volume up a little bit now what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to kick on the soft distortion maybe get a little edge he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. I like the distortion, but I'm just not sure. It he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Just a little too fierce. All right, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do EQ. Go ahead and just knock off the sides here. And this is just more of just kind of like shape it out. This EQ setting, I believe, was a setting that was probably from in here and you just go into mail box right there one of those i'll just hit copy there and if we go over here and we go by angry voice da, 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 da. oh no it sure is not that setting so it definitely was something tweaked so I paste it back and we'll just do all right so let's just go ahead and just dial it in and he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my... I'm liking that already, so I, I must have tweaked that already, so I'm just going to leave it as is for now. may go back to it later on. Turn off the analyzer. Now you ask, why do I always turn off the analyzer? Well, Logic's new release, 10.2.3 has a feature in it where when you close the EQ and if you have your analyzer on, it actually disables it for you when it's in here. So it doesn't use up processing power from what I read. Now don't take me on it in full word here. I just, I read that somewhere. But if you have a EQ or if you're using the EQ that is older than the newest one, which is 10.2.3, it doesn't do that. So that's why I take off the analyzer. 
because it saves on processing power. Okay, so we got that one in. And the next one is an ad limiter. All right, so why are you using an ad limiter? Well, good question. You know, the, the voice is kind of low as is, and I wanted to get some gain in it. There were some really high parts in there or really loud parts, so I wanted to tame that down. Now, why would I choose the adapted limiter over the regular limiter? That's a good question. Because it's the look ahead time. It has a longer look ahead time, so you could get a better flow of your vocals. Supposedly, the adapted limiter is can get a, a sharper punch. It also helps with the really loud peaks in a voice. Now granted, I could use the regular limiter, which is this one over here, versus the adapted limiter. Pretty much almost the same, but your look ahead time is max of 10 seconds. My look ahead time is max of 200. And usually, on vocals, you want a longer look ahead time to get a true brick wall type of limiting. Granted, if you have too many of these things going on, it will create a slight delay in your mix. So basically, look ahead time allows the limiter to react to the fast transients. With no look ahead time, the limiter has to react instantly to a transient, which is not possible. It has to know a transient exists before it can decide what to do with it. Look ahead alerts the limiter when a transient is coming so the reaction can be instantaneous. Longer setting cause a slight delay through the effect. Although in most cases this doesn't matter, the default setting is fine, it just boils down to this. You want something with a longer look ahead because of the variations of the peaks and valleys. You just want it to look ahead further enough down. In my experience, this one is just not good enough with the 10 seconds. You need something a little bit longer than that. Longer than 20. That's the difference. This here is good for, you know, like on a synth where the, the volume is doesn't go up and down. There's no variation in the volumes. This is what this one is really good for. This one is really good for vocals. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and just play with this guy a little bit. Let's see what we could do. You got different settings in here. You got a soft limiter, which is this one. And you got overdrive limiter. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> okay, and then we got a default to whatever that is. Uh, average limit called default and then what I do is I just I like to have that on and just take this guy down just a little bit show you what DC offset is uh, I think these guys do the best explanation of anything in the world of what DC offset is and they give you some nice pictures so basically DC offset is offsetting a signal from zero on our waveform, it would mean that the waveform is default view as it appears centered in the zero horizontal line. I don't think you really have to worry about it if you're doing a track in Logic. Supposedly makes it, does like a EQ on the upper end to remove distortion. Leave it as default. Let's see what it sounds like now. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. All right, so since I got the gain up, I'm hearing a little bit of something coming through when it's hitting these different patterns here. Take these guys here, highlight them all, go up here to regions here and see if we can do a, a fade in. Let's do... Let's try with 100. Yeah, all right. Let's try it. 200. There we go. Let's do a little curve. Let's do a 50 curve. Wrong way. Minus 50. There we go. 
He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. Just a little bit of a twanginess. Get rid of it by effects. Tune. Oh yeah, that's how I was using. Tune it in. And it doesn't do anything. I hate Logic's tuner. Take that thing off. Oh, I had this guy on here. Ah. All right, let's do that now. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Good. All right. Now, next effect is our reverb. Other one is a ring shifter. That's cool. A delay, stereo delay. Got a bit crusher. Got a, a pitch shifter. Another pitch shifter. A vocal transformer. Yes. <laughs> and then another vocal transformer. Going for one side. Oh yeah, and check this out. We've got a little surround sound going on with our mix. We hit our automation. Check that out. Yeah, get the angle going that way and ring shifter going up and down and all this wild kind of crazy stuff. So definitely had fun with it. I kind of forgot about that part. Mm hmm. Oh. Let's just take it down a little bit. All right, sit so now. My God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Fowler. And the... All right. And then this next one is ring shifter. Let's go ahead and turn that on. That's right here. You can hear that. My God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver ah. you from the snare of the fowler. Fowler. And from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with... So what I'm doing with the ring shifter, I'm starting to remember now, is I, I'm creating a stutter effect. Let's go ahead and just click on this right here. Fast stutter. It's just a setting in here. I probably didn't... The only thing... if. It did anything, it was just, just make sure that you dry wets all the way up. Maybe tweak the LFO or something. Is it on? Yes. All right. That's about it. 164. Let's go ahead and just take a look at here. We're automating the sin level to the ring shifter. So that's what we're doing there. Stereo delay. So we could my God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Fowler. All right, and so what this is, is this is a custom setting. It's where you get half note over here and an eighth note, a five eight note over here. And it kind of gives it a nice little groove. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Bit crusher. So... Do we have any going on? Doesn't look like we have any bit crusher going on. Where is it hitting at? Looks like it's not even hitting anywhere. Oh, it hits right over here. Well, let's just see what this sounds like. My fortress. He is my fortress. Oh, all right. So there you go. That's where that's hitting. All right. And then the next one is this thing called pitch shifter. Yes, I use the heck out of this thing. And if you follow my videos, you know, I talk about this a lot. Let's go turn on these guys here. 14 and 9.7, 25%. So what we may do is we can, I'm going to up this guy up to like 50%. Just get a little bit cooler effect. Just see how that goes. 50% mix level for each one. So, and then they're being automated. Are they being automated? They're, they're not being automated at all. 
Okay. So, but they do give a nice effect. And on the, it goes to bus 22. If we look at bus 22, go over here. Where's bus 22? Right here. Modulation delay on the pitch shifter channel, which is about 63%. This is just the default setting for modulation delay. <laughs> Listen to it now. My God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. Trust. My God. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, make goosebumps. <laughs> All right. Next one is a sounded really good. That pitch shifter and all those effects going on. It just sounds really good. All right, next one is vocal transformer. Now this is where I get the side effect voices, where I get the angel voices coming in. It's just awesome because what this does is we're doing a, a vocal transformer left and right. 24, format 4, 4, 100%. Pitch A2, A2. Oh, it's not robotized, it's just a button to do it. Okay. So it's vocalize. 24, 24. All right. So I think this is just a setting in here. I always click on that. I always check these, make sure nothing weird is going on. Okay. So let's go ahead and just play that from the top. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my fortress, my fortress. So you can hear that there's like a little, it sounds like a woman talking in the background. And it sounds really spooky, eerie, cool. Like, you know, like God's got your number. <laughs> You're thinking, well, why would I want to put this industrial thing? I don't know. It's just my way of thing. You know? And let's just play the rest. My God, in him will I trust. Trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. Trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall, a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge. Even the most high, your habitation, your habitation, there shall no evil befall you. Either shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Ways they shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread on a lion and an adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample on your feet. Because he has set his love on me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Salvation. My fortress. My fortress. Salvation. My fortress. My fortress. Salvation. My fortress. Salvation. My fortress. Refuge. Refuge. Fortress. My fortress. Fortress. And that's. Psalms 91. <laughs> Logic Pro Hack style. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and share it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just click on the big red subscribe button below. And when I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Also, if you did like this video, maybe you will like some more of my other videos. You can watch those right now just by clicking on any of these links right here which will open up a link and a new tab 
Again, thanks for watching my video and supporting this channel. And remember my friends, stay groovy. One, two, one, two, one, one, round, oh, don't, 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 don't.